Hey guys, since December 7, 2018, I broke my Windows 7 startup black cable because my program wasn't responding and I was mad about it. So, I also heard that support for Windows 7 has ended last month, so I got Windows 10, so yeah, and wow, I love my Windows 10, since my disk was full last year on March. I tried to free some space, but it didn't work, and last year in May, I had more space. So, I will now use VirtualBox to use the Windows XP ISO. Well, at twice I love this Windows XP virtual machine, now I'm going on Internet Explorer to make custom Windows XP errors on atom.smasher.org. Wait, Internet connection found, do you want to connect to the Internet connection? Well, I will click on yes. What? Why this stupid ginger brat? I will click cancel. Hey there, I'm back, because how dare you get rid of my previous OS last two years. That's it, I will load setup of Dora OS 2 on your Windows XP ISO, but I'm not installing Dora OS 2 on your Windows 10 computer, so I disable the cancel button. I'm going to press host and R to cancel the installation. Oh no you can't do it, if you press host and R, you will stay in this loading setup. Wow. This is so quick, so the setup is now starting door OS 2. It's now restarting your Windows XP ISO. Oh crap. Welcome to the brand new look of the Dora OS 2 setup, you must wait until the installation is complete. Well, it's installing, and I don't like it so much, how impossible, at least I must wait until the installation is complete. Please register to Dora OS 2. Fine. Welcome to Dora OS 2. I'm glad that you purchased this, but let's spend a few minutes setting up your computer. Uh, I mean, let's spend a few minutes setting up your ISO. So click next. Well, fine. Please type your name. Once again, well, fine. Thanks for installing Dora OS 2. You're ready to go. Here's what you just accomplished. To learn about the exciting new features of Dora OS 2, take the useful information in the Dora Help Center. These options are located on the start menu, so click next. Holy shit do I have to say that again, I said well fine. Hello and welcome to Dora OS 2, and I'm Dora, and I will be your guy once again, if you need help, ask Excuse me something. Me. how do I change the wallpaper? To change the wallpaper, click on start. Then click on control panel. Whatever, I did tell you last two years that you must stop telling me what to do. What? Why once again can I only have the Dora wallpaper? I want a Mario wallpaper. No, you can only have the Dora wallpaper, and there's no way to change- Listen to me idiot, if you don't give me a Mario wallpaper, then I will call your parents to get you grounded. Oh Jesus okay okay, I will give you a Mario wallpaper. Please calm down. There. Much better? Yes, it's okay Dora. Okay, I will close control panel for you. Okay, I will now go on Internet Explorer. Wait, why is the search engine Yahoo? It should be Bing. Well I'm just going on YouTube. You can only watch Dora videos. Fine, 
I'll press Alt F4 to close Internet Explorer. I'm going to play some games, Dora's Ice Skating Spectacular and Dora's Mermaid Adventure. Both of these games suck, but I'll play Super Mario Odyssey. What? Why only Dora games? Well, I'm closing games. I'm going to write something. What? Why is Notepad gone? Oh wait a minute, because Dora did tell me last two years that I'm going to type something mean to her. Well, I will use the start menu again. I'm sorry, but you can't find the result called, How to Get Rid of Dora OS 2, but there's no way how you get rid of it. Fine. You know what, I'm done with this OS, I'm going to kill this OS. What, where are the kill and nuke options? Ha ha ha, I've removed the kill and nuke options, so I updated the bug of Dora OS 2, so you can't kill me or nuke this computer, uh, I mean or nuke this ISO. Well. I guess I'm stuck in this OS forever. I'm going to change some settings. Oh no! What have you done? The settings are broken. You destroyed this ISO. Well fine. If I restart this, it will say that I lost the system32 folder on this ISO. I will now press host and R and press enter to reinstall the Windows XP ISO. Finally, I reinstalled it and I added my own wallpaper and my own account image again and I turned on the guest user and turned on hibernate button and added my password again, and I got my Windows XPISO back. And thanks for watching this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I will explore Flash websites and old websites, at least Flash is end of life on December 2020, so, this video will now end, this is John. Signing off. Bye.